All right, so today we're going to a place called Tiny Rick's Cafe to take on their undefeated 12 bowl challenge. Sounds perfect for you. Tiny Rick's for a man with a tiny dick. <laughs> There's no need for that. This channel's just getting worse. There's no need to have a tiny <laughs> but you do. I can't even argue with this. <laughs> this is like a, a budget downloadable content for Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Liverpool. Right, okay, so today I'm at a place called Tiny Rick's Cafe, which is in Liverpool. Oh, my accent. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. It's, it's a really cool place. It's uh, like a cereal cafe. They do some other stuff as well. Noodles, Pop-Tarts, toast. But the, the coolest part about it is they've got all these, like, more board games than I ever thought existed. 500 plus. 500 plus? Wow. But they do this food challenge, which is undefeated, right? Nobody's ever done no it. No one's ever done it. And I can see why, because this is a lot of food. This is 12 bowls of cereal. Various different kinds. Do you want to give me a rundown real quick of the rules? Yeah, so um, you have to do it all by yourself. Huh. Well, you not about that. You can't add anything to it, so no sugar. Any vomiting is an automatic disqualification. <laughs> um, every bowl has to be completely cleared. You get uh, and, a bo and a bottle of milk with it as well, so it's not just Yeah, it's not just cereal. It's, it's not just one bottle of milk, it's one bottle per um, oh. bowl of cereal, right? And you get one full hour, so that's five minutes per bowl, technically. That's so. Um, and if you do it all in the hour, you get it completely free. Bargain, right? Yeah. Let's get on the way, can I get a right. spoon? <laughs> yes, you can. yes, you can take a picture. Off you go, good luck. You also have to do this in a specific order, right? So you've got to do the... Uh, they're arranged in, in rows in such a way that I'm going to go like that. So but this, this is a lot of food, especially because... Oh, I'm, I'm going to pick the bowl up, actually. Oh. What's up, Beard Army? Welcome back to another video. And boy, Mrs. Beard really roasted me in the intro there. About the time she got her own back, I guess. Yeah, just in case she doesn't come across as weird enough already, she puts cornflakes in the blender. I need to get some milk, that's what I need. <laughs> this is gonna be rough, this is gonna be harder than it looks. Bowl number one is done. There could be some left in my beard, I'm not sure. But um It's definitely tactical, you gotta you gotta make sure that you're fully covering the cereal with the milk. Yeah, there are a lot of things to consider with this particular food challenge, not just the volume of food, but how you're gonna get it down as well, because there are a lot of very specific rules. I've never eaten cereal with my fingers before. Right. Bowl number two done. I don't. I hope we've got. Some, I hope we've got some flavour to them because the, the cornflakes and the rice krispies are a little bit. Crunchy nut cornflakes. Uh, yeah. Finally, three bowls in, and we got some flavour. These are these are resisting the milk. They're not getting soggy. <laughs> Unlike my jokes, which are reliably soggy. <laughs> but yeah, one of the hardest parts about this food challenge is you can't soak everything in milk from the get-go, making it much more difficult. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's clean enough. Yeah. Right, next is Cocoa Pops. With a Rice Krispie as well. Yeah, I think I dropped a Rice Krispie in there. <laughs> Yeah, how about that? Coach Lindsay's been a real ball buster today, and for good reason, because they're pretty strict with the rules here. You have to finish every last shred of cereal in the bowl or in your beard. Cheerios. I think <laughs> I'm just laughing because this family. A lot of the regulars know about the challenge, but these people don't know what's going on. The problem with Cheerios is they've got some serious texture to them, you know, so they don't really 
Oh, but they don't really soften up. Yeah, it's a while since I've eaten Cheerios and I kind of forgot that they're impervious to milk. <laughs> She's probably thinking, what is this man doing with his Sunday? The sugar in these definitely helps. I'm glad we started with the bland ones. Yeah, the owner was telling me that the bowls are arranged in such a way that the order is supposed to make it kind of difficult, switching between bland and really sweet. Oh, that's halfway. Oh, thank you. Oh, next is bran flakes. <laughs> of all things, my dad used to love eating these. He, he didn't pass that down to uh, to me. Love of bran flakes, but whatever. Got to be eating. Yeah. And I should really apologize to the people. If there's anyone watching this that was sat near me, this is the point it starts to get a bit gassy. You know, I didn't um I didn't poop this morning and they give you a choice of milk. So I'm thinking semi-skimmed milk was, was a poor choice. I should have gone with almond or something. Oh, this is gonna come right through me. Sorry. <laughs> A beautiful insight into my colonic health and habits there <laughs> for my fellow diners just a few feet away. I don't know what I'm doing here with the bowl. It's, it's hard to kind of pick bran flakes away from the side of the, the glass bowl. Got there in the end though. 20 minutes. Oh. Fortunately, I love sugar puffs. Sugar puffs are another one though, they don't really absorb milk, they, don't really, they, can't, they stay crispy right to the end. Yeah, they have their shortcomings, but for me, sugar puffs, they're part of that elite tier of, of cereals. Everyone loves the, the milk you get in the bottom of a bowl of cereal. Sugar puffs produces the best milk residue, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> what are these sh uh, shreddies? <laughs> Uh, they know how to, they, they definitely know how to get you here because if they gave you all the milk at the beginning, then this would be far easier because you'd be able to just let the, the cereal sit in the milk. Right, but because it's crunchy every time, it's like, oh, it's the hardest. Yeah, they really did put a lot of thought into the conditions of this challenge because eating this much cereal, the effect it has on your mouth is nasty. We might require adjudication on this bowl. It's hard to get every last bowl. <laughs> I can't get them out. Yeah, shreddies. They're the real banana skin because they break up. Although I had forgotten how nice shreddies are. They taste fantastic. That's I don't care. That's, that's done. All right, 75% done now. Golden nuggets. I don't think I've ever had these before. <laughs> Look how yellow these things are. I didn't notice at the time, but God knows what kind of stuff they put in here to make them this color. Oh, these ones are so crunchy. I'm gonna have to let them sit for like two minutes or something. I'm not a fan of golden nuggets. I don't think I've ever had them before. Yeah, I don't recall having ever eaten golden nuggets. They had a nice kind of almost malted biscuit taste to them. Uh, so they, they weren't bad by any means. Quite difficult to, to eat again. It didn't absorb the milk very well. But um, yeah, this is actually a really, really cool challenge. I was really excited to do it. I love cereal anyway, but uh, whenever I get a chance to do something other than, you know, a burger or like a, a giant fry up, it's always a lot of fun to do. All right, so we're down to the final bowl now. Gotta make sure you get your fiber in. Mmm, dried banana, so good. <laughs> you might notice I'm starting to shout at this point. That's because it's getting obnoxiously loud in the cafe, so I just want to make sure you could hear me, really. I'm gonna have so many mouth ulcers tomorrow. Yep, as we speak, I have two mouth ulcers. But yeah, it could have been a lot worse. At least I can, uh, I can talk well enough to do the commentary. Anyway, I highly recommend this challenge. 
As you can see, I'm just about to finish up now. It was a pretty tough one as well. Um, probably the toughest food challenge in a restaurant I've done for a long time. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you for the next one. I've never eaten cereal with my fingers before, but... I do. Bang on. Look at that. 20 minutes to spare. Well, <laughs> I don't even want to touch that. On a scale of one to flaky, how do you feel? <laughs> I feel very flaky. Uh, I can't even tell you how much the top of my mouth hurts. Oh, you will try and eat 12 bowls of cereal. <laughs>